Hello everyone. In this video, I'll talk about AWS Backup Search and Item Level Recovery, followed by a demo. My name is Azad Penjiev, and I'm a Technical Account Manager at AWS. This AWS Backup feature will help you search and recover items from Amazon EBS snapshots and Amazon S3 backups. It allows users to search through metadata of their backups and recover individual items without restoring an entire backup, allowing for more efficient recoveries. AWS Backup provides you an option to create an index of all or a select number of your Amazon EBS and Amazon S3 backups. This index stores and catalogs all the metadata for a backup, allowing you to search for items using properties such as creation time, item size, file path, object key, and version ID to only restore what you need. You can also create the indexing and searches programmatically with AWS CLI or AWS Backup API via backup plan. The search capability aims to streamline the process of locating and recovering specific files or objects across multiple EBS or S3 backups, potentially reducing recovery costs and time and helping organizations with faster RTOs during a data loss event. This AWS backup feature can help you find files or objects created within specific date ranges, aiding in compliance checks and audits. You can recover specific files or objects after accidental deletions or ransomware attacks. You can recover items to scan for vulnerability or restore everything except the infected item or items. You can test and confirm your disaster recovery readiness by quickly verifying the presence and integrity of critical files and objects across multiple backups. It also provides opportunity to selectively restore development and testing related files or objects without restoring entire production backups. Here's a sample workflow for search and item level recovery process. First, you index your backup either by editing existing backup plans or when you create on-demand backup. AWS Backup supports index creation for EBS and S3 backups at the time of this recording. Next, after the completion of your indexing, you create a search for your resource type with the required backup properties and item properties. S3 and EBS have different item properties that you can create your searches with. Once your search is complete, you can review the search results on the console. From here, you can export search results to an S3 bucket for a longer retention. By default, your search results will be available on the console for seven days. After you are done reviewing search results, you can restore your selected files or objects to an S3 bucket in your AWS account. AWS Backup search and item level recovery pricing is based on number of objects or files scanned in your backup. You are billed for the backups that are indexed at the time of the indexing, the storage of the backup indexed, and for searching your backups. Restores will be billed based on resource type per AWS Backup Restore pricing. You will pay for only what you use with no minimums or upfront commitments. Please see AWS Backup Pricing page for detailed pricing. All right, in my demo, I'll walk you through backup index and search creation for EBS and S3 backups. I will also show you how to export search results for a longer retention. And finally, I'll show you how to restore items from search results. I'm in my AWS Backup Console, and I will go to my existing backup plans. And there are two ways you can uh, enable indexing. First, you can go to your existing backup plans and opt in for indexing. And the second way is to uh, select indexing when you create on-demand backup. So in my case, I will just make sure indexing is enabled for my active uh, backup plans. And if I select this rule and click on edit, scroll down a bit, you can see that S3 and EBS indexing is already enabled. So what it means is that the backups taken with this backup rule in this backup plan will have indexing already active. So let's just confirm that it's active right now. So this is one of the latest backups that I have taken for my S3 bucket and EBS volume. If I click on, the, click on this backup job ID, you can see that um, this recovery point ARN is here. So if I click on this one right here, uh, you can see that backup index is, the index status is active and the creation time and total items indexed. So 
Um, when you do this the first time, depending on your um, backup size, this might take some time, but in my case, it was pretty fast. So this is the way you can check for um, indexing status. All right, so once your indexing is active, the next step you do is you create your searches. Now for that, I go to AWS Backup Search on the left-hand side here, and then I click on Create Search. And here I can select either EBS or S3. So I'm gonna start first with S3 and then my backup property. For this one, I will just say uh, backup creation date, but also you can um, choose the parameter of recovery point ARN, source resource ARN or a backup tag. In my case, it's gonna be a backup that was done in the past seven days. Okay. Just click on apply and the item uh, for the item properties, I will choose the object key for this S3 bucket. And this object key contains February um, 10. I want to get uh, February 10 customer data for pre past previous years. And just press enter here and there we go. And let's just give it a name, testing S3 search and just start the search. So this will take some time um, and I will just wait. But while I'm waiting, I'm gonna do the same thing for the EBS um, search. So I will go back again to search and I will create a new search. And this time I will select EBS resource type. And again, backup creation date is my backup property uh, time parameter here. And the last seven days is fine apply and then for item properties again I will say file path anything that contains February 10 enter and then I will be just saying maybe like um, testing EBS search this is the name I'm giving to it and just start search all right so I'm going to briefly pause here and when the search results are complete I'll come back All right, my searches are complete. So I'll go ahead and check the search results for S3 bucket first. And as you can see, these are all the objects with the name of February 10 uh, from my S3 backup. So uh, by default, these search results are available on this console for seven days. And if you wanna persist the search results for a longer duration, you can actually export these results to an S3 bucket of your choice. So for that, let's just go and select this search result and click on export results. And then here's the bucket name. I will choose customer logs research recovery bucket and the bucket uh, the IEM role that I'm using for this job, backup search recovery role with the right permissions. And I will just export that. So this will take some time. And once it's complete, um, you can see that um, results of that search, uh, search details of that um, search job in that S3 bucket. So Let's go ahead and, and this is still running. And I will also go ahead and check the uh, findings in that S3 bucket that I selected. So as you can see here, this is where it's gonna be saving the search results. And here's my CSV file. So this CSV file will contain all the existing uh, search details from the console we just saw. All right, so let's go back to our search again for S3. Now, once you have the search details exported, the next thing you can do is you can actually restore this file in a destination bucket. So I will click this file, select this, and then click on restore. And I will do unselecting restore by version ID. Before I do that, I will copy this S3 URI and select this and paste this 3 URI. And then I will be restoring it to an existing S3 bucket and select my bucket, backup, customer log, search recovery, that's the bucket I want to restore to, and then with the right IEM role, and click on restore backup. All right, once this is running, I'm gonna do the same thing for the EBS search result as well. I will go back to search results and select e uh, EBS search results. 
and then uh, see the files here also from my search. And let's say in this case, I'm going to be restoring customer report uh, February 10 from 2022 and select the file and then click on restore. And this is the EBS file path. And I will be restoring these two destination bucket, the same bucket that I chose before. This is the one and with the right IEM permissions. Okay. And restore backup. All right. I'm going to briefly pause here till the restore jobs are complete. My restore jobs are now complete. This is the object that I restore from my S3 bucket. And here's the file that I restored from the EBS backup. And with that, this is the end of the demo. Thank you for watching.